Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alright, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. You can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem after Jabbar uh, to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Steve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Walt the Big Chicken Harris! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? Well, every time we walk into this here Madison Square Garden, I think I will always think about you in 2017. It was UFC 217 Championship Triple Header, and it was Thug Rose. It was the most insane night of fighting ever. Bisping St. Pierre. Cody Garbrandt got knocked out by TJ Dillashaw. Then Rose Dami Yunus knocked us out. Then Wani Young Jacek, and we absolutely went crazy. One of the greatest pictures of announcers in sports history. It was all three of us, and we looked like that poster with the monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. It was crazy. What a phenomenal night in a great arena. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Very tricky. Well, 
Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Whiffs on the right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? And both guys really throwing with authority. And he landed the right hand there. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, beautiful hook! Leg kick. Under two minutes to go. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Just missed with the leg kick. Nice punch landed over the top. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, big left hook there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it... Oh! and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. It's there, it's there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That was Andy Cleo. Oh, big head kick. For a second, it would get through, but that one is blocked. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Just missed with the left there. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this oh. second round. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him.
back and forth we go. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. over when he throws that kick. 20 seconds to go round two. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Try to establish that jab. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. My goodness! Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. remain in the round. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. That uppercut is good. Oh, big left. scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Well, hard to perform Ladies much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Declaring the winner by knockout, Walt Hoping And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birthday. Thank you for watching. Yeah, Please wait for more videos. See you soon. Age fight.